I S U P K. All I'm going to tell you, man, if you want to stay plugged in and tuned in, make sure you subscribe to I S U P K on YouTube. A lot of powerful information will be coming out this summer, and you want to stay tuned in. The minute they drop it, it's coming right to you, baby, as soon as you subscribe. So make sure you handle that business and subscribe to your ISUPK. so far as more than anybody else has done this far okay number one number two i mean what i say when i say it i mean what i say when i say it i'm the only person who's ever run on free platforms that i was told could not possibly win the election and i never ceased from it one was on restoring the soul of this country because of what i saw happen in charlottesville that was it no one else was talking about it. The words of presidents matter. Nobody else, no progressive, was talking about it. I did. Nope. That, that's, that's Joe Biden talking to your black leaders behind closed doors. He checking the shit out of him like he a pimp. I mean what I say when I say it. I mean what I say when I say it. Nobody done what I've done for black people in 10, in, in, in 100 years. Look at how he's talking to black people behind closed doors. But that's your man, though. That's your man. Hey, you go ahead and let him talk to you like that if you want to. Joe Biden ain't talking to a damn brother in the UPK like that. You understand? Because we don't trust in him, and we don't want answers from him. So he turn around and disrespect you, disrespect them people, brothers like that. That's what they get, trusting in Joe Biden. Go ahead, Warren. Yeah, damn. Hey, listen, dude, that sound like somebody that was trying to help black people. That, that sound like somebody who didn't give a damn about what you had to say. Furthermore, this, this is what you got to understand, black people. There's no amount of legislation that can change your condition. Because your condition is caused by a nation of people who hate you. You can't legislate change in terms of hate. You can't, you can't vote hate out of people's heart. You can't march enough to make people stop hating you. There's nothing that you can do other than pray to the Lord, black man. You got to pray to the Lord. That's the only thing that's going to change your situation here. It ain't voting. It ain't marching. It ain't coming together. It ain't, you know, your vigil. None of that garbage. Anything that you got in your mind about Christianity and how it's going to help you, throw it in the toilet. It's duty water. You understand? Let me get the rest of that. For nation shall rise against nation. This is biblical time, man. Nation is rising against nation. That's why you see so much hatred toward the Asians. That's why you see so much hatred towards black people. Because guess what? Your oppressor, they starting to come together. They gonna hate the Asians. They, they already hate black people and Hispanics and Native Americans. But they gonna hate Arabs. They gonna hate East Indians. They gonna hate everybody. And all these nations that's all sprinkled throughout America, they gonna start returning one to their own nation. That's what you're going to see in the last days. Because the Bible just said, nation shall rise against nation. Read. And kingdom against kingdom. And empire against empire. And there shall be phantoms and pestilence. There's going to be famine. What do you see in, uh, in Venezuela, down in South America? 
over, uh, over in Africa, all throughout Central America. Even in the U.S. there's famine. You understand? There's famines all over the place. Matter of fact, let's step front. So like, go ahead. And earthquakes, and earthquakes, where? In diverse places, in diverse places. You're gonna see earthquakes in places where you've never seen earthquakes before. And this is biblical prophecy. Go ahead. And all these are the beginning of the sorrows. All these things that you see that's going on, these are just beginning of the sorrows, black man. This nation of people are gonna turn against you. And you're not gonna have anywhere to go but to turn to your own. That's why it's important for us to come out here and tell you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You are the real Israelites according to the Bible. The oppressor, the so-called Jewish man over there in the Middle East, he is not a Jew. He is a goddamn liar and a thief and a vagabond and a criminal. And he hates you. But guess what? He has a judgment coming. It's not going to always be like this, black people. You're not going to always be down here in the ghetto in Cincinnati dying and struggling. It'll come a time where you learn to serve the Lord, and guess what? The Lord is going to fight for you. Because you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the true Israelites according to the Bible. You niggas, you spicks, you wetbacks, you savages on the reservation. The, the people that America looks down on, you are the real Israelites according to the Bible. And the Most High loves you. And you're going to get vengeance, but it ain't going to be through trying to raise up a gun. It ain't, it ain't gonna be through marching. It ain't gonna be through going to the tr Christian church. It's gonna be through you coming in here, getting the flyer, man, getting in class, learning to change your life. And then the Most High is gonna look down on you and he's gonna say, you know what? That covenant that I made with my people that said, you know what? You keep the laws and I'm gonna be your God. Then the Most High is gonna be your God. I-S-U-P-K.